got my pirate hat, my pirate hat, I got my pirate hat and I'm ready. You probably clicked on this video because you saw 1920s and painted knees and you're like, I wanna learn about that. Cool, now you're like, why is this chick dressed up as a pirate? I don't know, some days you just wake up and you wanna be a pirate. We've got that settled. So I've been wanting to find a video idea that is just short and fun. And then I came across these photos of some 1920s flappers and I learned that it was indeed a trend in the 1920s for flappers to paint their knees. Like, okay, that's the idea. That's what I'm going to do. This was a point in history when the dresses started getting shorter. And although they weren't above the knees usually, as like many of the Halloween stores flappers costumes would have you to believe, usually dresses were still somewhat below the knees. But sometimes while dancing, the knees will get exposed and you can see them. So this is like the first time in history when you can see women's knees. And women, specifically the 1920s flappers, went all out. So sometimes they would put rouge on their knees as well. I like history clothes. And I am also awesome at painting. I am not humble about it. I will brag. I am a fantastic artist. Here's a hyper-realistic bunny that I painted a few years ago. I'm not gonna paint anything hyper-realistic on my knees. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to the style of the 1920s you see in a lot of the photos, like flowers and butterflies and sometimes faces. They, it looks like they painted some faces on their knees, which I like. It's kind of like a really weird, but like cute idea. Let's, let's get started. I'm gonna get out of this pirate costume so I can look like a 1920s flapper. First, I did my hair and makeup. Unfortunately, the curls did not stay and my hair looks like a hot mess, so please forgive me. Second, I put on my underwear, not just any underwear. I made some 1920s tap pants and I put on this chemise in place of the 1920s bra I made because I do not feel like showing my bra on the interwebs. Here is said bra on table. I used silk charmeuse and lace, and I was inspired from some images of 1920s bras, and I am very happy with the end result. And for the third layer, I put on a slip. I made this slip about two years ago now. It's a little pink slip. I forget exactly what fabric I used to make it, but it works. Last but not least, the actual dress. I made this dress out of black silk chiffon just recently. I, I love it. It's super swishy, super fun, super flapper. Now that I'm all dressed up as a 1920s lady, I'm ready to paint. I just used acrylic paints. I'm sure that it is not good for your skin, but I have been painting and getting paint on myself since childhood, so I just went ahead and used acrylic paints. I'm sure face paint or something that's actually made for human skin would be much better, but anyways, I started off by painting some small yellow flowers and green leaves on my knees. I took a lot of inspiration from this photo. I really liked the flowers and butterflies and wanted to incorporate that on my knees. In order to add some variation and visual interest, I added some smaller flowers along with the larger flowers. I added another layer of paint to ensure that the flowers were a nice bright yellow. And in order to add some more depth to the flowers, I added some deep mustardy gold yellow to the center. And then I filled in the middle with the brown part and kind of blended that in and made it nice and interesting to look at. And to fill in all that extra negative space, I added more tiny leaves. But once I was done and I got a good look at it, I think it needed a little something more. So I decided to add a little monarch butterfly. First, I painted the base of the wings with the same mustard color I used on the flowers, and then I blended in a brighter orange on top of that. I painted the head and body of the butterfly, and then I went in and painted the pattern on the wings. The wings aren't as intricate or difficult as they might seem. Just outline them, and it's just, it's just a bunch of lines on the inside. Just go with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And don't forget to add some little bunny ears. And for my other knee, I went with the face idea, and I was so excited to do this. I love this idea, and I pretty much painted an egg on my knee. And that egg was looking a little pale, so I decided to add some blush. And since I already did all that, I decided to do the rest of its makeup. And no egg wants to be bald, so remember to give your egg some hair. I went for a Josephine Baker sort of look. It's pretty easy painting an egg's hair. It's just squiggles and waves. I believe in you. You can do this.
Same with the lipstick. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just paint three dots and fill them in a bit. So to add more visual interest, I put the egg in the flower. I made the flower petals pink and I put some white inside the flower petals to make them more interesting and I added lots of tiny green leaves. And just like that, my painted knees were finished and I was ready to dance the night away in a 1920s speakeasy. Or my living room. Whatever. LOL, I kind of sound like Lois Griffin. Peter! Anyway, I am super happy with how these turned out. I'm definitely going to be doing this in the future. The acrylic paint worked fine. I had to scrub it off my knees that night in order to get it off. It was going to stay if I hadn't. It'll be fun to try some different color variations and designs in the future. I am excited to create some different designs. And I also want to look into the 1960s knee painting trend because after the 1920s, the knee painting trend doesn't pop up again until the 1960s. And I'm assuming this is because in this decade, the skirts also start getting shorter. And you've got to have shorter skirts to show off those beautiful painted knees. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast painting on myself, and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any ideas of what you would like to paint on your knees.